So today I'm going to be organizing my son's third grade curriculum. Usually I do the hanging file folder system uh, for my kids. I have done that for uh, this year. I did that for my first grader as well as my kindergartner. But for third grade, since so many of the books are kind of reader books, um, most of them kind of have to be kept together. So this year I'm thinking about doing... Um, the flex uh, note binder uh, I've seen several moms do this so I'm gonna attempt to do that this year and see how it goes uh, for my third grader so here is the books um, they're bound books so I had to go in and tear these out as you can see here uh, for the arithmetic language the writing and the art projects I ripped those out but the spine poetry is together and then these are the readers so there's their history reader health safety and manners and then there's science so that's going to be kept together and then the other books here are just the reading books um and then the answer key for the books so these I'm going to keep in the bin uh, I bought these are one and a half inch so it says it fits on uh, 300 sheets so I got three of these I'm thinking about doing um, two grading periods each since there's six grading periods for uh, third grade so here I already went ahead and kind of separated the subjects also by the order that they do the videos since we do um, the back of videos so here, this first section, since they're going to be doing arithmetic right after Bible class, that's the first set of here. So I just put in the cover sheet on that first one. I still need to go in and hole punch these to put them in. But here, I've taken the first 60 lessons for um, each of the subjects here. So I have arithmetic in the front. Then I have the reading comprehension. So here's the skill sheets. So I'm going to be um, taking these out as well. And here are the table contents I put on the other side. Next, we have the language. So here, once again, I took the first um, 16 sheets and just put them in here. So it goes up to uh, lesson 60. Next, we have the Writing with Purpose section. And I had the cur uh, Curse Information Guide here. So it's in third grade, it does change up a bit so my son can see that when he is uh, doing his writing. So there's the first 60 sheets. And then next, I'm gonna put the History, the Math Skills book. Since in here, sometimes he has to refer back to certain things that he's gonna be doing um, the states this year. So the main reason I'm doing the flex note binder this year so he can flip back uh, because with the crate system, since I have everything divided by folder for me to go back and look for things, uh, since they're all, um, the subjects are all, um, I guess, mixed. Um, so here we go, let me just show you. So for the crate system, for my first grader, I feel like that still works, but for third grade, because he has to refer back to a lot, uh, I just rather keep it kind of together. So here, you know, there has all the loose papers, but sometimes when you need to refer back to a lesson, instead of me going back and flipping through uh, different weeks, I thought it'd be better as I kept it um, together, but I don't like having, you know, the whole thing um, just in the book because sometimes when you're trying to write in there, you know, kind of gets hard to do it. And I always thought it was neater when my children just have like that one sheet to work in. So here I'm going to do the map skills and then I still have two more sections which I'm going to add in all the tests for the first um, grading period here. And then the back, all the tests for the second grading period. So that is how I'm thinking about doing these uh, note binders. So here, this is how it comes with. So it comes with um, sheets of paper. So I took those out and saving that for later. And I also switched the order um, 
of these dividers. This here comes with three that kind of have like a pocket. And then it comes with four, but this one you can actually put in a paper in. So I just switched the order of those for the one that I'm gonna be using. So I can keep um, this sheet in the front and I can kind of know which section it is. So I did flip those. So these are pretty easy to use. You just kind of unsnap them here and then you snap them back in. And then uh, it's called a note binder because it's a notebook and a binder. So if you wanted to write, um, so you just flip it back and it's nice and flat. So you can go in and write. So it's a binder and a notebook in one. These I bought straight from um, the Five Star website since I couldn't find this size in my local stores. So I'll put a link of, of that down below. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hole punch my section here. I'm going to hole punch these with my three ring uh, hole puncher and just add them in. And then after I will add in the test by the first and second grade period. So here for all these um, sections here, I do have the first uh, 60 lessons. So, you know, I still have some space. I'm not sure exactly how many pages there are, but there's still some room to grow in here. So I might add, um, I still need to add in the test. So we'll see how that fits in here. But I'm pretty sure they all fit well since this is for a 300 sheet. They have a 200 sheet one that might be um, a little tighter. Or you might have to do less lessons, maybe just the first 30 or 40 lessons on those. So I'm going to start hole punching and then putting this together. And now for the map. 
upstairs. It's going to be in this section, so it doesn't have one to put in the front. So you can just go ahead and just add that here. So you know that that's the section. Pop these open. And then add in your maps here. It. So all I have to do now is add in the test for the first grading period and the second grading period. And then you're good for the first 60 lessons of all of their workbooks here. Still have some space to make this um, more full. So I put in the arithmetic, the language. Writing with purpose, and then the reading comprehension and the map skill. There's also a spelling and poetry book, but these are not perforated, and I like keeping these together because it has um, the poems in here, and then they have their spelling list that has um, work in it. So this one I will keep um, together. they have is the reader for history, the health, safety, and manners, which has some um, activities in here, some fill in the blank. Um, then here's our science reader, exploring God's world. Let's stay together. This one is new for this year. I'm also planning on keeping uh, this one together. So this is the My Animal Notebook. Because it has kind of like little like flashcards and um, they have to put things in here. So I'm not sure exactly what they're going to do with this. Um, so we'll have to see until they get to that part. So these are basically the readers that they're going to stick together. Um, so it's their spelling and poetry. So the only thing I have left is the art project. I did tear these out. Um, usually they have to cut uh, most of the pages out anyways. Sometimes they have to do some drawing in here. So these ones I'm going to keep uh, loose for now. So essentially that's all the books for third grade here. These ones are empty now. Um, those are all in here. Because uh, there was a uh, short anyway, so I did keep those all in here. I might have to divide them up until I did the third and fourth, and then fifth and sixth grading periods. So here's these. They're basically the ones that I still need to go in and add once they get past lesson 60. besides the reading box. So here we have it. Starting off with arithmetic, reading comprehension, language, writing with purpose, and then the map skills for their history. So I'm just going to go in and add in their tests to these with all these um, classes. I'm going to do it by a grading period, and then that way it's just this one uh, note binder that um, I'm going to be using instead of the file folders, which I do have for my other students. So we're going to see how this works out my first year doing it this way. So I'll do probably another video, um, maybe like halfway through to see how this uh, has worked for
Express. I was gonna post a little um, schoolroom tour of our um, schoolroom here for my three students. Um, and show you some resources that I have around the classroom. So yeah, leave a comment if you have any questions or anything you would like to know. I will post a link of where I got these folders.